Hey everyone, it's taking apart. And and you know this this one question that came into my mind. Um, you know, I love Godzilla, so I always thought, can he exist? You know, like that would be a cool thing, right? So our first problem comes with Godzilla being very big. Like really, really big. According to Legendary Pictures, he is around 120 meters tall, which is around five blue whales in length. Or you could say he is also just as tall as the Great Pyramid of Giza. And with being tall and big, also comes being very heavy. And also, according to Legendary Pictures, he is about 90,000 tons. That's... how many blue whales? So, the square cube law is an interesting law to say the least. It states that if, for example, you have a 1 by 1 by 1 cube, and you double its dimensions, its surface area quadruples and its volume gets multiplied by 8. I don't have a word for times 8. Is there a word for times 8? Let me check real quick. Oh, right. The main takeaway from this is that the bigger an animal gets, the faster their volume increases and the slower their surface area increases, which means less area to let out heat, and they become much, much heavier, much, much more quickly. So Godzilla, for example, would be so heavy that his bones would just crush under his own weight. Because, you know, you need bones for legs, and, you know, he just can't stand up without bones. Where am I going? <laughs> So let's say because Godzilla doesn't know what the square cube law is, it doesn't exist. Because yes, it would be very hard for him to survive due to the fact that he needs a lot of food every single day. So at his size, he would need around 215 million calories of food a day, which is roughly around a third of a blue whale, or 1,700 people, or 160,000 crispy roll chicken sandwiches, which you know are really good. Like, you can just go here. No. Just no. First of all, you can't eat nuclear radiation. You can't use it. It is not energy. It will mutate your cells and it, it will cause cancer. It will. It's, uh, it's, it will. Don't think Godzilla can just tolerate it for some reason. Second, he cannot absorb any other radiation because it would just be useless. It would be so useless. Plants can do it because, one, they don't move a whole lot. They don't waste energy on moving, hunting, looking, things that animals do. Two, they have leaves. So many leaves, and those leaves have a lot of surface area. Godzilla doesn't have a lot of surface area. So he can't collect enough light or any type of radiation to satisfy his needs. It's just impossible. So, yeah. 